one fear of mine being on my route is getting stranded out in the woods somewhere. That's my fear. Over time and overdue. Ain't no sneak that is on news. Been outside, that's with the crew. Make my night up on the moon. I was also uh, graciously blessed with someone else's trash. Um, hopefully, I can find a gas station on my way to my first stop and toss it. I don't think I took you guys on an Amazon hub before, but this is actually my first time at an outdoor hub at an apartment complex, and it's super easy. Literally, all I have to do is scan the package. Oh, that one's not scanning. Oh, never mind. Yes, it is. Hang on. All I have to do is scan the package. It opens up a locker for me. And I believe I have like 18 packages to deliver in here. So this should take just a few minutes. But these are the best when you're able to just scan for the apartments and put them in the locker and you don't have to go to each individual door. think you guys truly realize how amazing <laughs> that was going to an Amazon hub locker outside an apartment complex delivering all 18 packages in each locker some of them were boxes and of course the machine recognized if it's a larger package so it opens up a larger uh, locker and everything just went so smoothly I don't even think that was five minutes so that was pretty amazing what's up guys good morning good morning welcome to another video this is your girl astrid and of course yesterday was just a completely busy day which today's a busy day too i have 20 overflow and i have 19 bags y'all 19 bags but guess what i got some new bags look how cute and shiny they are super cute this video will be about things to bring on your route to just make sure so you can be productive so you can be comfortable and you don't have to worry or have you know really any personal issues while you're on your route my rabbit keeps crashing which is uh, the phone that amazon provides to you but you know what we're gonna work it out we just gonna restart it we're gonna power it on and off we are going to get through this day all right guys number one make sure you are wearing comfortable clothes and shoes because you never know what you're gonna walk step into and you just got to be careful these are this is for your safety, to be honest. I don't think, I mean, it's not for anybody else. This is strictly for your safety. So I usually wear shoes that have like some traction and stuff at the bottom. So I don't accidentally slip or fall or anything. Today it feels pretty good outside. It looks like the snow is clearing up, but we did have a snowstorm last week. And of course you definitely want to have on your boots. We're hiking up and down the stairs and some apartment buildings have salt down some of them don't have areas where you need to step so just make sure that you are making sure you're good i also wear long compression socks because it's been situations where you know i got stuck by branches and you know just other shit that's on the ground so i want nothing touching my ankles no we living in our last days what's up guys so 
another day another video i'm literally just gonna cram them all together because each day it's not that i can't get it right it's just that i was just so busy working i really didn't have time to post everything so here we go one fear of mine being on my route is getting stranded out in the woods somewhere that's my fear with that being said I don't ever want to be stranded without having the essentials. So let's go over those really quick. Bro, sis, it is so much easier to grip those packages, grab the bags, and not ruin your hands too much with the gloves. So here I have, which way do I turn it? Which way do I turn it? These are high flex, so I'm sorry if it was turned upside down or anything. And I actually can use my phone with these, so... You can touch screen, you can scroll. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these. These are amazing. I literally have this bag. I bring this with me every route. I just wanna be better safe than sorry. I'm not gonna show you guys everything I have in my bag because it's literally just so much. I mean, I, I brought my house. I brought my house on my route. Sanitizer doesn't matter what brand doesn't matter if it's a pump or a squeeze just make sure you get some sanitizer on your hands so you know if you take a a quick break or something and you want to eat and regardless if you're able to wash your hands or not you know due to COVID, and actually COVID ain't got nothing to do with it you just want to make sure your hands are not nasty okay oh water slash energy drinks and i say slash because energy drinks is what keeps you going on your route you got to remember sometimes you're working 10 hour days and it's a long route and you want to make sure you have something that keeps you going a lot of times you know when people bring their food and stuff depending on what it is sometimes it can slow you down so just make sure you have plenty of water to stay hydrated and plenty of energy drinks lunch slash snacks um, like I said, me personally, I do not take my 30 minute. I feel like it slows me down. I usually have snacks that keeps me going. It usually keeps me full, but you just got to make sure you have something, you know, in case you get a flat tire or whatever, you have to sit there and wait, you know, you get hungry, you have something to snack on. Oh, I didn't show you guys these gloves too. So I use these gloves in the winter time. Um, these have a good grip on them as well. Unfortunately, these are difficult for me to use the phone with. So I use one of these gloves to hold like the package and then I use the other glove um, or I use one of the other like high flex gloves to touch the phone with. Extra mass. Please make sure you bring extra mass. Anything happens, people lose their mask, like people lose car keys. So just make sure you have some extra ones on. I always make sure I bring extra because I do not want to smell anyone's breath. You're in court Boy, your breath stink like in. ass. Tampons. Doesn't matter what brand, sis, you gotta make sure accidents happen. Accidents happen on the road, accidents happen inside the van. You need to make sure you are protected. S cell phone chargers. That is almost one of the, one of the most important things you have to have with you, um, especially if you're using your phone or the Rabbit, which would be the other device. So just make sure that you have an extra charger. The next one, ding, ding, ding. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what this is. This is Mace. Now, I don't know if you have to have it, but me, I feel safe having it. Um, anything may happen once again, and we're not always talking about dogs. Bag up, bag up, bag So here's my bag of snacks, guys. I have Nutri-Grain bars, I have uh, granola bars, fruit snacks. I mean, I got dental floss. You know, if I'm eating something and it's stuck in between my teeth, it's gonna bother me all day, so I'm gonna need to floss. I brought body sprays in my bag. I have wipes, like baby wipes. I have antibacterial wipes. I have a raincoat in my bag. Sometimes I bring my rain boots. I have a rain hat. Hold on, let me show you guys. This is my rain hat. So I'm not gonna put it on my head cause I'm just not gonna put it on. But this helped me so much. Um, I switch my hair out, you know, quite a bit. And I just wanna make sure that, you know, I'm just not getting um, thunderstormed on. 
So this helps me out tremendously. You guys, I even brought a portable vacuum. I am, I would consider myself maybe OCD and I just don't like crap and, you know, trash and stuff on the ground or the floor of the vans. So if it's like a lot of it, you know, I will turn this baby on and get the suck in. Kleenex. I feel like I need these personally, especially in the winter time, your nose get a little runny, but I always bring these um, just as a backup. I even have a mini little safety kit here more antibacterial wipes. I think I even got some band-aids in here, you know, just in case I cut my finger and stuff. I'm pathetic, seriously. It, it ain't even that deep to be bringing all this stuff on the route. It's not that deep. And I bring my BioFreeze. This helps on my neck. I don't be rubbing it on my legs or nothing like that. Sometimes, you know, my neck get a little stiff, so I rub it on there. And then I also bring my contact lens uh, solution because I do have contacts in my eyes. And just in case some dust want to come run up on me, I got the drip. Little money get the drip like this. <gasps> Ice box drip my wrist. Walk up in the club. I always bring my sunglasses. I always bring my sunglasses because I don't want nobody looking at me straight in my eyes. No, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get this energy. Not today. What are you, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about items to bring with you on your route. So if you do become stranded, um, you won't be a burden on yourself. I know I will with my big black bag. If something happens, I'm good. Okay, I have everything I need and then some. I fall for you every time I try to resist. Thinking it away, I'm just each feels in the day.